fourth generation of the Dillon family uh, running uh, Deming Clarence Dillon and uh, the estates that are owned by Deming Clarence Dillon. We've just been celebrating the uh, 75th anniversary of the acquisition of uh, Orwell by my great-grandfather Clarence Dillon, first-generation uh, American immigrant, uh, born in Texas, um, raised in Texas, eventually was educated on the East Coast, uh, ended up uh, attending Harvard and then uh, uh, coming to New York and starting uh, an investment bank. So he was a real renaissance man in the, in the true sense of the word and I think that's something that continues to live through not only hopefully the genes in our family but also uh, the business that he founded uh, in 1935. The most important message, I guess, that we received making wines, whether it was my mother or my stepfather before me, um, from my grandfather at the time was very simple. Make the best wine that you possibly can. Possibly the, the world's oldest luxury brand, Chateau Aubriand, uh, given that we have the, the mention already of the estate written in, in 1660. I don't think there are many brands that exist today or promises of quality that have, that have lasted that long. I think the greatest reward of uh, winemaking is to be able to create an exceptional moment. It's a great honor for us as wine producers to be part of that particular moment of your life, of uh, other people's lives, uh, where we punctuate what might be a, a very personal moment uh, between a couple, between friends, between family. Uh, that ultimately is why wine has been so important throughout the history of mankind and will continue to be so so many people around us and I'm a wine lover so I come to it from that maybe naive standpoint. For me wine is uh, as much a hobby as it is a uh, profession. Cheers. <laughs>